La Barbie, American kingpin Edgar Valdez Villarreal. He was not a professional drug mafia product, but a former high school football player whom authorities say rose from trivial street dealer to the top ranks of a Mexican drug cartel and was responsible for sending truckloads of cocaine across the border for distribution in the eastern U.S. He served as a major deputy in the Beltran Leva cartel for ages. Join us today as we look at the details about the rise and fall of La Barbie, a big name in the drug world, also known as Edgar Valdez Villarreal. But who actually was La Barbie? How did he become such a big drug tycoon in a very short time? Where did he learn all of this? Let's go over some details about his life. La Barbie's Compelling Leadership Widely known as La Barbie, Edgar Valdez Villarreal is a former Mexican-American drug lord. La Barbie had been widely associated with the drug world as the high-ranking deputy of the now-banned Beltran Leva cartel. At the moment, he is serving a 49-year-long imprisonment sentence in the United States, Florida. Throughout his diverse criminal career, some other names entitled to Edgar are El Guero and Comandante. An outline of Edgar Valdez Villarreal's criminal career. Edgar Valdez Villarreal worked as the lieutenant for the Beltran Leva cartel for nearly a decade before he rose to a leadership rank in an enforcement gang named Los Negros. Following the death of the cartel head in 2009, La Barbie had to fight a lengthy, bloody and powerful war over control and authority. He opted for multiple barbaric techniques during the long course of the battle, for example, decapitation. In August 2010, he was arrested at the hands of Mexican federal police. The once mighty Los Negros gang reached its conclusion and collapsed by 2011. Currently, Edgar Valdez Villarreal is serving a nearly five decades long imprisonment sentence for all those crimes he committed during his well-defined extensive career. The 2017 TV series El Chapo featured a character wholly based on La Barbie and was named La Muñeca the doll. Army Hammer, in January 2016, after meeting the family members of the renowned cartel leader Edgar Valdez, acquired the rights to film the life of a drug lord. Likewise, in 2011, Legendary Pictures secured the rights to shoot American Drug Lord, a movie based on Valdez. Early Life La Barbie came into this world on the 11th of August 1973 and is currently 48 years of age. He was born into the house of Abel Valdez Villarreal. As a child, he was a gentle guy and never thought that this gentle boy would grow up to be a ferocious drug smuggler. He spent his entire childhood being raised in Laredo, Texas. Edgar was a popular football player during his high school years. His nickname, La Barbie, came from his football coach at United National School, as his facial features bore an uncanny resemblance to a Ken doll, and he had white skin and blue eyes. Villarreal's first arrest came at the age of 19. He was charged with allegedly causing a negligent homicide while he was speeding down the street in Laredo. Likewise, his long criminal career initiated on the streets of Laredo, where he became a first-time marijuana dealer while still being a high school student. La Barbie had turned down his father's offer of financing a college degree for him. He did this to pay more attention to his drug business. Unlike other drug traffickers, La Barbie never wore gold jewelry or grew a beard. However, the lousy luck played its part, and he was soon called out for marijuana distribution. To escape the arrest, Edgar Valdez Villarreal fled to Mexico, and that was when he joined hands with the popular Beltran Leva cartel. He was skilled enough to quickly achieve higher ranks as a result of his U.S.-based connections. La Barbie was rumored to have collaborated with both DEA and the FBI while he was a drug trafficker as well. La Barbie leads the Los Negros. Edgar Valdez soon found himself leading the enforcement gang named Los Negros. The gang engaged deeply with a territorial dispute in Nuevo Laredo against the Los Zetas region. Los Zetas used to synthesize kidnappings and enroll operatives, inclusive of police officers, military personnel, as per the reports by the Attorney General's office. Although the group was primarily headed by Edgar Valdez, the Beltran Leva cartel oversees it. According to the Mexican report's narrations, soon after the cartel leader Arturo Beltran Leva's death on the 16th of December 2009, Villarreal initiated to dispute the leadership of the cartel and its territory. By 2010, one faction was led by Villarreal and Gerardo Alvarez while the other was led by Arturo's brother, Hector Beltran Leva, alongside Sergio Villarreal. In August 2010, four beheaded bodies were discovered hanging on a bridge in Cuernavaca with a note. The note conveyed a warning to anyone aiding Edgar Valdez of a similar fate. Both the factions were found to be engaged in similar pitiful tactics with a motive to warn of the other. As per a rough estimate, at least 150 deaths are connected to the dispute. Reports by the U.S. government indicate that Los Negros employed local gangs, like Mexican Mafia, to carry out murders and a bunch of other illegal atrocities. The Edgar Cabanas Case Link A few moments after dawn on the 25th of January 2010, 
The footballer, Salvador Cabanas, was wounded in the head with a gunshot. Via the CCTV footage, Jose Jorge Balderas Garza, aka JJ, was identified as the culprit responsible for the attack. During the interrogation, JJ stated that due to his friendship with Edgar Valdez Villarreal, the latter himself gave one of his safe houses to him so that he could escape the authorities. Ties with the Israeli Crime Organization Benjamin Yeshurin Suchi, killed in Mexico, was a big name in drug trafficking. He remained a renowned player in the cocaine trade. As a result, he was wanted by Interpol. Also, Suchi had very cordial ties with the Villarreal. According to the Mexican Attorney General, Suchi had constructed a criminal monarchy between 2001 and 2005, based on kidnappings, drug trafficking, and casinos working with their own Mexican mafia. During a raid, the authorities encountered some photographs of Suchi and Edgar Valdez Villarreal hanging out at Sinaloa. Charges and Allegations According to the U.S. Attorney, after connecting with Arturo Beltran Leva and later Joaquin Guzman Loera, a.k.a. El Chapo, Valdez Villarreal started using speedboats to transport cocaine out of Colombia and other South American countries into Mexico and then on to the United States. The police had been on a mission to capture Edgar Valdez Villarreal since his 2002 citation on his two counts of conspiracy to supply marijuana. As a part of their investigation, police raided all the apartments that La Barbie had rented and to their surprise they discovered police uniforms, grenades and automatic weapons. In May 2009, the Mexican authorities listed him as one of their 24 most wanted criminals. They also announced a reward of a whopping 2.3 million US dollars for any chunk of information resulting in La Barbie's arrest. Edgar Valdez Villarreal pled not guilty and took out advertising in the local Monterrey newspaper named El Norte. He described himself as an innocent businessman who had been forced to leave Nuevo Laredo and shift to the neighboring state of Coahuila as he was being harassed for bribes by the local police officials. In June 2010, Edgar Valdez Villarreal was impeached in a U.S. court over the allegations of drug trafficking of thousands of kilograms of cocaine from Mexico to the U.S. between 2004 and 2006. Officials from Mexico claim that Valdez introduced a minimum of about one ton of cocaine monthly to the U.S. In 2009, the judicial system placed a reward of $2 million for info leading to La Barbie's capture. Arrest the Mexican police stated that they sought Edgar Valdez Villarreal across a total of five Mexican states for one year, a pursuit that had intensified in the final months as the authorities tirelessly raided houses one after another owned by the missing drug lord. Still, they captured a number of his alliances. Finally, on the 30th of August 2010, the Mexican Federal Police arrested Edgar Valdez Villarreal near Mexico City. In a video released by the federal authorities, Edgar could be seen narrating to his interrogators how he trafficked from Panama to the United States and how efficiently he transported the money back to Mexico, being hidden in trailers. La Barbie also unveiled how he had spent $200,000 to make a movie based on his life, but later decided to cancel the film's release as he realized that it must have revealed a lot about him. After Edgar Valdez Villarreal's arrest, his father-in-law, El Charo, took control of the cartel. However, even he was arrested three months later. La Barbie denied all sorts of allegations against him and claimed that the video confession was made under compulsion. In November 2010, the Mexican authorities began his extradition process to the U.S. Extradition On the 30th of September 2015, Edgar Valdez Villarreal was extradited to the United States alongside 12 other criminals, including the former deputy cartel leader Jorge Eduardo Costilla Sanchez. In June 2018, Edgar Valdez Villarreal was given a 49-year imprisonment sentence in the U.S. federal prison. Family Edgar Valdez Villarreal had separated from his first wife. He then went on to marry Priscilla, who was a teenage daughter of a drug associate. He has a son named Edgar Valdez Beltran. That's all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content.